The energy we're saving at Agua Nueva is closing in on 20% and we're sustaining it at that level, which is amazing because that's a plant we already thought we were running pretty well. What we're trying to get at with our digital transformation is predictive operations. Now we're knowing what's going to happen before it happens. That's where we're finding the extra percentage points of optimization. And I think the potential is monstrous, I mean, millions of dollars just for us and tens of millions for our clients. In my time at Palantir, whether it's working for a mining company, a manufacturing company, or a water treatment site, there's major challenges that arise when building for these operational settings. The biggest one is how to move site staff operations from a reactive mode to a proactive mode. Today, most plant operations run incredibly reactively. They find out that a machine breaks because it's actually happened in the real world, or they find out at the end of the month that their production numbers were lackluster. In order to move to a proactive world so that you can actually improve performance, you need to first break down data silos across your ERP, your maintenance system, grab your sensor data, and put them into one place so that site operations are able to react to early leading indicators of performance. The fact that we have Foundry allows our senior leadership and our super users to build that trust. And that starts to socialize, hey guys, you can trust this. You're gonna stay within the bounds. This is our best thinking, our best data science, our, all our water subject expertise is built in here. So you can trust this. It is literally one-stop shopping. All our data ingestion from our financial Oracle format, from our computerized maintenance management, from our lab data, from our SCADA information, any sensor we want to ingest, we can ingest. At Agua Nueva, we worked with site staff to time their notifications exactly to when they had their two daily meetings so that they could review and then quickly thereafter action the electricity optimizations. We were using about 2,000 kilowatt hours of electrical per million gallons we treated and we're now down to around the low 1,500. Blowers are the biggest energy consumers here on the plant side. If we're able to optimize those with higher and lower DOs where we're not running them as much, it causes our electrical costs to go way down. Oh, at Foundry and running the model for us, they're getting our live feed from our SCADA, so they have our live numbers all the time. The operators take back control when they need to, to do the, our own adjustments here on plant side. Foundry's gonna help us scale this across our entire fleet, across dozens of plants, maybe ultimately we'll get to all 200 plus of our sites. So I'm deploying a model, being able to watch it in real time, what's actually going on at the plant, and then we are able to provide an inference to the site that tells them, based off of all the things that we think are going on at the plant and what we think is going to go on in the future, what should your set points be? With Foundry, we've been able to engage with them and custom tailor these applications within the platform to make it as easy for them as possible to implement, which has been very successful for us and for them, and we can continue to develop that solution without much bandwidth. So that real-time communication I have when working with Joshua, it allows us to get that instant feedback, and if we see something wrong or something that's not right, he's able to change it, or we're able to change our what we're doing. Operators, up to now, haven't been able to do predictive operations work. With these data science tools we have now, they're essentially becoming predictive operators, which is super cool. We've been telling them for years to run your plant, but we never gave them the tools. Now they've got the tools. Let's walk through how we did it. First, we integrated real-time sensor data into Foundry using the OPCUA connector, one of the 200 plus out-of-the-box connectors available with Foundry. Using other data connectors, we can also connect to lab sample data, CMMS data, and ERP data. Next, once in the platform, the various data streams are cleaned on schedules and transformed into standardized, easily interpretable data models, or an ontology. The sensor data is then run through Joshua's process model to make real-time predictions on ammonia levels in the aeration basins. These predictions are then compared against required compliance levels and mapped into simple, human-readable emails recommending updated set points for the blowers. After an action is taken in the real world, the same sensor data streams also capture the real world performance data. Should the site be experiencing any extenuating circumstances, the operator is also able to reject the notification and provide rich text feedback for the process engineers to review later, allowing the folks on the ground to remain in ultimate control of their plants. Finally, using the same live ontology in Foundry, we can track operator usage, electricity consumption, operator feedback, and model error and drift all from a single screen across a fleet of sites and models. Being able to take our workflow processes and turn that into an algorithm 
This is really interesting. We've never been able to do that or seen that before. Once we've broken that ground and we have proof that it works, we can use that process over and over again. I think there's opportunity in city services, transportation, environmental services, construction. There's a lot of things we can do. Run your plant, take ownership of it, figure out what its limits are. If we can do big 20% improvement chunks, even on an optimized plant, now scale that up nationally or even globally, and you get an idea of the potential here.